Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the file system error minus 201529 that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, which typically occurs when attempting to open or access text documents through Notepad. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, come back with settings, go ahead and open that up, select apps on the left side, and then select installed apps over on the right. In the search apps field, type in notepad, go ahead and select the three dotted icon next to notepad, and then select advanced options. Scroll down underneath reset. If this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select repair. And then at this point, see if the issue has been resolved. If not, you can select the second option here, where if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select reset. So this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. Select reset. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And I want you guys to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, should say command prompt, right click on it, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. First one is a DISM scan. So I want you guys to go ahead and copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter to begin that scan. This may take a couple minutes to run at least, so please be patient. Okay, so once that has finished running, go ahead and copy and paste the second command in the description of my video. This is the System File Checker Utility Scan. And once that has concluded, close out of here and then restart your computer.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.